Hey you guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about so many things. First of all, I want to say hi to all of you guys who've never seen this channel or welcome back uh, or welcome in. I want to say my name is Felipe. They usually call me Phil. You can follow me under the name of Art of a Spirit on Instagram. And I know I look such a mess sometimes with my hair over here. Excuse me, and I'm sorry for that. Um, so today I wanted to talk a little bit more about so many things going on, but first of all, basically introduce that I am here because I like to talk about skincare, I like to talk about makeup, and everything when it comes to man structure. Um, in general for everybody, but uh, I've seen so many few channels that are focused in guys, so that's the reason why I bring, I'm bringing up this to you. Um, I recently went to see the newest movie by Lady Gaga. I think I went to see it Wednesday, way before they released it on the movies uh, or in the movie theater. Um, it is called As A Star Is Born. Um, it, it's one of the best movies that I have ever seen. And um, I really like the playlist. I really like the music. I really like everything when it comes to Lady Gaga. I feel like she did such a good job. Uh, me and my partner we have been discussing this for a while and we both agree that um, she looks, she is acting like she's not Lady Gaga. Like when you see her acting, uh, when I saw her acting in American Horror Story, I could tell she was Lady Gaga. The, the makeup, the, you know, the outfits, everything else, her mannerism, uh, everything else would look like Lady Gaga to me. But when it comes to this new uh, Ali um, role, I would think that she was not Lady Gaga. Even though when she was singing, I would not recognize her as Lady Gaga or I would not relate her as Lady Gaga because I felt like she went out of the way. She still kind of had that where she was very more of a natural newbie. Um, I felt like she she did such a great job when it came to the movie. The, the storyline overall, it was amazing. It was heartbreaking. It was a little bit bittersweet, but I liked it because um, I felt like it kind of, uh, it's kind of like a day-to-day -day, um, for anybody that uh, has not either help from somebody else or it's um, trying to make it happen, or it's working, or have a relationship with issues. She told you so many things that I feel like we can relate to it. At least I could relate to, you know, having a job where, uh, in the past where um, my, my previous um, managers would be like, oh, well, you're late, and I was like one minute late, or I wasn't even late, they just wanted to bug me. Uh, or in the fact that you felt like you had more inspiration going on. I don't know. It's such a good movie. I can't put it in words. You gotta go watch it. With that being said, today we're gonna be talking about these two products right here. So this one is the call. This one, the, the name is Clinique Dramatically Different uh, Moisturizing Lotion. This is the Yellow Moisturizer. If you've never tried it, what are you doing? So this is a dramatically different moisturizer. It's one of our uh, top sellers. I'm pretty sure it's one of uh, the regular, uh, it's been one of the regular moisturizer for a long, long time before it used to come in a jar. Um, it has a soft scent to it, um, but it's not a scent of anything pretty much, if that makes any sense. It has like a chemically soft scent, but it, it's not like, you know what I mean? Wait, as you open like, I've seen other brands where uh, Korean brands or even brands from France that are like you open it and it's instantly smells like roses or it instantly smells like um, I don't know something else I actually went yesterday um, as I was working I smelled um, a serum from Korea like a Korean brand and I was like oh this is vitamin C as I put it on it smelled like roses and it was Korean brand I was like but anyways that is one of the reasons why I like this um, this line when it come or this brand in general because they don't add any any added sense to it. So this one is a dramatically different. Uh, they have three different types. I talked about previously in the past about the jelly. If you guys don't know it, you should go and check it out. 
Um, this one is a dramatically different moisturizer. I thought I didn't like it, but I, I'm giving it a try. And I'm going over here, I don't know if you can see. And I kind of like it. Even, I feel like it's because I'm, we're heading to the winter where I feel like I'll, I need a bit of moisture. Um, so let me tell you a little bit more about this. This is $28 and it's 4.2 ounces, which is uh, 125 milliliters. And it's good. once you open it, it's good for two years. Um, I use two to three pumps in the morning, you know, two to three pumps at night. Um, if I had to be honest, probably two, two in the morning and three at night. Um, if my skin feels very soft, so I, I clean up my face my, with my liquid soap. Uh, I use a mild one. And then I use the number three uh, clarifying lotion to make sure I get rid of all the oiliness. Because when I put up, sometimes when I put makeup or whatever, I feel like I overproduce oil. So this is kind of helping me not to overproduce and keep it real as healthy as possible and less glowiness. Um, and then I feel like my skin is very tight sometimes. So I like to use this one on top of it. That way I know for a fact that. Um, Whatever I'm doing, uh, this one is working. Um, just, it just feels like a very soft layer of hydration, which I enjoy. Um, so let me talk a little bit more about this Dramatically Deeper Moisturizer, what it is, how it is, how is it. It's a lightweight, easily absorbed lotion that replenishes lots of moisture and strengthens the skin. So this one right here, it helps you if you wanna look for a natural glow. It balances the skin moisture levels, providing increased moisture that lasts all day with glycerin and sodium hydronate that attract moisture and bind to the, to the skin. Uh, it also strengthens your skin by 50% in eight weeks. So the moisture, the moisture stays in better and skin looks healthier with a skin strengthening blend of ingredients including the sunflower seed, Barley cucumber extracts that help improve skin ability to receive and retain moisture. Uh, it absorbs easily as you apply it, and it doesn't leave any residue. It's a very lightweight consistency, and it's non-greasy. It is for somebody who is either dry, very dry, or dry combination. You gotta use this one twice. Uh, so this is one of their popular moistur uh, moisturizers. The reason why is because they like to put a cleanser, and then the clarifying lotion, and then the moisturizer. Um, honestly, I've never been a fan of this one because I never felt like I got a lot of benefits out of it. But now that I'm using it, now we're heading to, towards the winter, I feel like my skin needs a little bit more moisture, lighter weight, and this one gives me what it's needed. It doesn't have any SPF. So if you're somebody who's either uh, starting a new skincare regimen, the one, two, three step will be best for you because it has this one. But if you're somebody who requires more benefits like anti-aging, you gotta make sure you don't need this one. You gotta use the, the rest of them, whatever you're using. If it's a repair wear line, if it's a clinic smart line or super defense or even better, you don't need this one unless you're feeling really dry. Uh, or you can use this one in the morning and the other ones at night, it's up to you. But it is not necessary to use this one if you don't feel like it. If you feel like you need a little bit of extra moisture, use one layer of this one, you'll be fine. But if you're under a budget, you don't really need it. So now let's talk about this one. This one is called the Clinique Moisture Search 72 Hour Replenishing Hydration. So they used to have the Clinique uh, Moisture Search Extended Thirst Relief. Um, this one has more of a, an aloe vera and it replenishes your skin so your skin doesn't feel dry and it doesn't look dry. It has a healthy glow and it makes it look more dewy. So the effect on this one, this one is a healthy glow. This one is more about for somebody who wants a dewy skin. This one tends to be more, it's a pink moisturizer and it looks like this. It's a little bit thicker than the, moisture, the, the yellow moisturizer. And as you apply it, it just naturally gives you moisture, uh, like a natural glow. Whereas this one already went off. If that makes any sense. So for the uh, moisture surge, it has hyaluronic acid and it also has um, aloe, and it, which is gonna help you replenish your skin. Uh, sometimes they even tell you, like if you if you go ahead and, um, well, let me see, how can I pour them? Like this maybe, like this. So sometimes when you, um, when you use them, 
you can either layer this to uh, like if you are more into the dryness um the, the yellow moisturizer you would apply first and then on top of that you would use a pink which is a moisture surge uh for the extended thirst relief that they used to say um they used to say a lot of good things about it but this one is supposed to would be um way better than that and the reason is because it like i said before it replenishes your skin with hydration that way your skin always feels uh very very hydrated um it kind of plumps up your skin uh that's what they used to say and it plumps it up because it has uh, so much hydration it reduces 178 percent of the dryness on your skin so that's really cool um your skin stays very soft and comfortable in changing climates with a unique marine extract that acts as a protective coat allowing your skin to adjust to shifts in humidity and temperature with which can result in loss of hydration it also restores the proper moisture balance with your active aloe water while a hand of antioxidants help protects against environmental damage it does moisturizer is good for all skin types it could be either for dry very dry oily combination or very sensitive uh, it doesn't have any scents as well as the yellow moisturizer had a little bit of scent to add it to it i feel like not add it but i feel like you as you smell it i feel like you can send a little chemi chemically scent into it whereas the uh, whereas a moisture surge you don't feel anything it is recommended for times when you feel like you needed hydration uh you can apply it as you need it and uh you can apply it as a some people are very, really, 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 really sensitive. So they use this one as a mask. So let's say yeah, uh, they want to use it as a mask or before they jump into the plane, if they are traveling in airplane, uh, if you've heard of it, um, people really get dry about, about that. Like really, really dry skin when they go on a flight. So they use it as a moisturizer. Sometimes they even um, just put a lot of thick layer and then they wash it up just like that and so far um i have to say i like this one but i also like this one but if i were to choose one in between it would be the jelly because i feel like the lighter weight texture of the jelly it's in this but i also get benefits of this if that makes any sense and it's so lightweight that you can combine I feel like it's a, either a twin sister or a between sister on this one too. Um, so it all depends on what you want to get. There is no, how you want to call it. Um, there are no wrongs or buts or ends or ifs. Um, this one is 28. This one, the one ounce runs for 15 or $17. The uh, 1.7 runs for $39 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if not, go ahead and check it out on the website on clinic.com. And then the 2.4, I believe it's either $52 or something somewhere like that. And then sometimes they come with the like jumbo sizes and sets, which is one of the best benefits that you can get because you get more, more moisture in your skin. So if you are somebody who is looking for hydration, no SPF, no anti-aging benefits, hydration will be best in here. Those are your best friends. Um, I've, I, in the past, when I lived in uh, Vegas about two years ago, um, I never used any moisturizer and any SPF. Uh, I used to wear hats, so I got a dem um, demarcation over here where you could see the line of the hat, and it was horrible, and I would scratch all the time, and I did not know, I was not aware that I was scratching because my skin was so, so dry that it would be begging me for um, a moisturizer. I remember also I would get really dry patches over here and over here. And like I can scratch it and I would be bleeding, like literally bleeding because my skin wasn't um, as hydrated as now it is. Now I feel like since I've been taking care of myself and my skin and my health, uh, when I'm talking about my health, I'm talking about you know, what am I eating, how many portions I'm eating, how many workouts do I get. Uh, I feel like now I'm more conscious about it and all my body is more hydrated. So I don't feel like I need, like, 
um, either lots of hydration or I need to be um, worried about, oh my gosh, my, my skin is gonna break, no. Now I feel like more I'm more into the normal to oily, which is pretty cool. Um, and then when I feel dry, I just go ahead and use either of those two. Um, it all depends on you, like I said. Also in the prices. Uh, this one will give you more hydration. This one is like drinking six glasses of water or eight glasses of water for your skin throughout the whole day. Whereas this one is just like, you gotta use it day and night. This one you gotta use day and night, but this one replenishes your skin, so you, don't, you gotta use as much product as you would use it. So, it's all up to you. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any comments, let me know. You can also follow me on Instagram on Art of the Spirit. And remember, I'm not perfect. I'm not gonna tell you what's right for you. You gotta make your own choices. People at the counter, people, whatever you go by, the Sephora, Ulta, Nordstrom, Macy's, um, Bloomingdale's, whatever it is, Belk, uh, I'm pretty sure they are gonna give you good advice, but you're the one who's gotta choose for your money, for the benefits, and um, sometimes for whatever you like, pretty much. Uh, a lot of the times when it comes to clinic, they give you like samples or vials or, you know, on the gauze. So if you buy this one, they might give you a small one. You know, give it a try or ask for a sample jar. I'm pretty sure that they will give you one. All right, guys. So for for this thing, it's all been said. I hope you guys like this video. I hope to see you soon and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.